Okay, John Moss, J2 Algotrader. All right, so let's say that you have built a strategy and you are wanting to use some signals provided by other indicators that provide one-time alerts, but you want to be able to use them on a continual basis because they have been indicative of a particular market trend. Those of you who have seen a Video 10 or perhaps are already in possession, for example, the indicator set that I've put out, do that very thing. So what I'm going to do is combine two of the indicators that came with the package to give you a demonstration of how you can use them. And further, we're going to deliberately use a chart that is not the same chart as where the signals are coming from, so we can kind of rehash something you've learned previously in the video series about using the additional data feature to go ahead and pull those kinds of signals so you can use them on any kind of chart. So what I'm going to do here is specifically demonstrate something I did in video 10, but now we're going to plug it in to a strategy. Where we're going to pull a signal from the hidden volume indicator, and then we're going to use the market alert system to set true or false bulls in order to create a filter that assumedly is going to give us a good filter that we can add to our conditional statements when making entries. So let's pop open the strategy builder and we're going to just build a new strategy. I'm going to go ahead and build this out and I'm going to just build something to take long. I'm going to use the hidden volume indicator taking long signals like that and we're going to use them for our entries and then we're going to set up variable bool from the market alert system from the five minute chart and use it as a variable argument. Now in this particular case we will be using a 500 tick chart to run the strategy on but we will be pulling data from the five minute. So let me build that out right quick. Okay, to speed the process up. I'd already started in on this just a little bit. So we call it the hidden volume strategy. This is stripped down signals only just to demonstrate how to do these variable bulls. Okay. Now, for those of you who don't know, market alert system does require a five minute chart. So we're going to add that. And it needs tick as well. So we'll put that in. All right, so again, very simple contracts, target stop, use long. I added a uh, profit stop loss already. So now let's come along and make our variable. So we're going to call this uptrend, bool, set it to false. Now, I've already partially set up these signals. These are all potential uptrend signals coming off the uh, market alerts indicator. But we have to do one important thing. Each one of them, we have to pull the data from which this particular conditional statement is getting its information from a five-minute chart. So as you can see here, we've already got alert equals 52. That's one of the signals. So we go here. Data series, five minute. All right. So again, you can see it right there. Now, let me do it for each of them. So if any of these five signals holds true, go to miscellaneous, set up trend, up trend now equals true. Okay, pile that right quick. Now, let's go make a very simple conditional set. Okay, so we start off with if any, create a group, and we have two sets of signals that come off a hidden volume. One is the hidden volume, and the other is going to be the squeeze alert, so that's how we'll name them. Hidden volume long. All right, so now once again, if you don't know already, if you don't have the indicators, just so you'll know, uh, the hidden volume indicator has two, a total of four signals, but the long signals are one for hidden volume and two for a squeeze alert indication of potential long. So we choose indicator. 2J2 hidden volume. You can see the value plot is alert equals numeric value of one. Okay. And we're going to use our variable, user variables, uptrend. Remember it's defaulted to false, but if it gives us an indication, it becomes true. So uptrend has to equal true. That's it. All right. So that's that one. So we'll copy that, paste it, rename it, call this squeeze long. And again, that squeeze has been plugged into the hidden volume indicator. Third on the zero bar, this time equals two. And once again, we'll continue to use uptrend. So we're done there. So remember, if all here, if any up here, and then both of these groups are set to if all. And that's all we have to do there. So now do the following. Order management. Enter long position. Quantity is the number of contracts. Signal name, we shall call you long. Pilot. Okay, and that's it. So this is a revisit. What we've done is we took from the market alert signal, we based it on a five minute, and then we said that the alert value in this case is 52. There were a total of five off that indicator that we chose. They were all listed there. And if any of that happens, trend will equal true. And then if we get signals from the hidden volume, either one or two here, it's going to take a long. 
Now, normally in the use of variables, we would have to come along and create another condition so that this upturn would go false to reset. However, it is pulling its data from the JT Market Alerts, and it does that automatically for you. And that's it.